Hello there everybody and welcome to another Little Spark vlog. We just checked in to Disney's All-Star Sports Resort for our holiday 2023 trip. We got an action-packed trip, Jollywood Nights at Hollywood Studios, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, we're doing Grinchmas at Universal, we're doing the Christmas at SeaWorld as well, so make sure you subscribe and follow along. But now, since we just checked in, we're gonna do a very abbreviated room tour, and then we're gonna head off to Disney Springs for the evening. Let's do it! Christmas at Disney, let's go! Where's my host? Oh, what? Oh, there's my host. Oh, Disney Honor is hosting. Yeah, yeah. Hello, welcome to our room. Um, we're going to be doing a very abbreviated tour. Um, we have stayed at an all-star resort before. If you didn't know, any of the three all-star resorts were recently refurbished. All the rooms look the same regardless of what resort you are at. We have filmed that before, so we will link that video down below if you want a more in-depth tour. But let's go just for a quick round to see what's here. We have beverage fridge. Not an actual refrigerator because it's not at the temperature that you actually need to keep food safe. As stated. As stated. We have mini coffee bar. Not a fan of... No, no, no. This isn't the 50th anniversary one. Never mind. I like this one. This one's okay. Now it's a 100th celebration, but that's not 100th coffee. <laughs> uh, mini coffee bar. Trash and recycling. This is a... Table. Murphy bed. Table Murphy bed. Pulls but down. It is a table. You can pull it down. Probably has a cute display of some sort of Mickey and support. We'll, in, sure. we'll insert a picture of that now. Okay. We have bed. Lots of pillows, because you get pillows for both the Murphy bed and this bed on this one bed. Um, both beds come with little side tables, which each have chargers and USB plugs. Yes. Very convenient. We have right across from that the TV with um, kind of this little drawer space here. Again, more plugs and USB. We have... Becky's jacket hanging up. The bathroom area. No world. Featuring the sink, little closet. Boom. Ironing board. Boom. Iron. Blow dryer. And then we have a toilet and shower space with so doors to kind of separate toilet space as well as just general bathroom space. Bye. Oh, and there is a safe, I'm pretty sure, in here before I make a lot of noise. So there is a safe to keep your valuables. And now to Disney Springs. As soon as we arrive to Disney Springs, we're greeted by a large Christmas tree in the middle. It's a busy night at Disney Springs. Yeah, we could only fit Disney Springs into our schedule on a Saturday night, which is the probably worst night that you could go to Disney Springs because it's so busy. But we'll, we'll enjoy it anyway, and hopefully it's not too busy. It's also nighttime now. So it's gonna be an evening at the Springs. Let's go. So after seeing the Christmas tree, we're gonna be heading off to Gideon's to see how long the wait is, if there's a virtual queue to get in. But uh, I'm really excited to get the, oh, and now there's music playing. Now it's very loud. We are in with a four hour wait, and now we're gonna head over to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, or the Holiday Bar. Upon entering Jack Lindsay's Holiday Hangar Bar, which is themed to Indiana Jones' pilot from Raiders of the Lost Ark, we are greeted with so many Christmas decorations, including multicolored lighted garland strung about, even this Santa hanging on the wall that kind of creeped us out. Once seated, we couldn't help but admire the Christmas decorations some more, and just how pretty it was in there. They even have special coasters here, which definitely made it back home with us. And the theming is top notch, that instead of napkins, they used red mechanics rags that wrapped up the silverware. Fitting the theme, they have a special holiday menu, and we decided to get three of the holiday treats. First, we got the Naughty or Nice Deviled Eggs, and we opted for the Nice Eggs, which use sweet honey glaze instead of spicy. These were absolutely delicious and were our favorite of the three bites we got, and the holder was even shaped like a plane. Next, our second bite was turkey croquettes with sweet potato puree and cram bacon cranberry jam, 
And last we got the oh ham and cheese trees, which are ham and cheese and a puff pastry shaped like a Christmas tree. And the presentation was a nice touch and the trees themselves were very cute. The trees were our second favorite and the croquettes were our least favorite of the three, but they were still good too. So Jack Lindsay's was amazing. That was, I, I mean, I don't know what my expectations were, but that was amazing. It exceeded my expectations. Yeah, it, it makes me like want to try this place when it's not Christmas themed too. That's like how good the food was. And we had about 30 minute wait standing in line and now the line's even longer. It took us about, 35 40 minutes like from While start to finish so. and all we got was uh three like tapas so uh no no drinks or anything uh just the food so overall like i would definitely go back and now to the ganachery for some chocolate you get this gingerbread mickey chocolate pinata for 28 dollars adorable that's what we're getting that's what we're getting then just grab it yeah Chocolate covered gingerbread cookies. Hi, can I get one s'more and one chocolate? Yes. Um, milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Yes. 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 We stopped by the ganachery after Jock Lindsay's to get a couple treats. First we have a little eggnog truffle and then we have a little gingerbread truffle. And we did get the gingerbread cookies. And we also got the gingerbread cookies. We'll try those after. <laughs> so let's give it a whirl. You can have the gingerbread one because I got the eggnog one. So give it a little bite. I always feel guilty because these are so small and it's three dollars for this little square. Do I eat it in one bite or like just nibble on it? Just bite it in half. The very subtle eggnog flavor. If I didn't know it was eggnog, I probably wouldn't have guessed that it's eggnog. It's good, but you probably wouldn't get it again. Gingerbread, chocolate covered gingerbread cookie. Did it say there were two different chocolates? I don't remember. There's two different colors. So one's milk chocolate, one's dark chocolate. That's what I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go for the dark chocolate. Is that worth it? So how many cookies were in the thing? Eight. Eight, so that was only $15. So that's like less than $2 a cookie. So these are a better value. Yeah. Better flavor. The gingerbread is nice and soft. It's like a soft, chewy gingerbread. It's not like crispy and stale. Yeah. Becky, how do I buy this cookie right here? <laughs> Ginormous. So before we went to Jock Lindsay's for some dinner, uh, we did get a virtual queue at Gideon's Bakehouse, which is right across. And it is eight o'clock now and they stopped doing the virtual queue. So make sure you get in it early if you come on a Saturday night. Oh, and we did it around six o'clock and it is a four and a half hour wait for us. So it is a commitment. Okay, so we're gonna go pop into World of Disney next to go look at some merchandise. Okay, so first up for Christmas merch we have these super cute flannel nightgowns. This looks like it's part of a pajama set for the family, so if you come on over a little bit, we have the adult set. I think this is specifically the women's one because it has Minnie and Daisy. And I think this is the, uh, the men's because it has Mickey and Donald. Cute Mickey Sherpa pillow. And then for the little, little ones, a little onesie. And then they have some super cute mini in her little holiday outfit and Mickey in his little holiday outfit blushes. Adorable. 
So under this cute little display, we have this Mickey ornament pillow. Little countdown to Christmas figure. It's a really colorful tree skirt. Ornament set. This is a sweet little mug with a little mug mat or coaster. It's got little Alice and Cheshire Cat, Stitch, and Dumbo. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then we also have this giant wreath. And then we have this Christmas lounge fly. These super cute ears. Oh, hold on, what were you showing me? Ah, Stitch moves. Sorry, back to the ears. These are cute. We have this Marvel yes. holiday long sleeve. Yes. Yes. Little Hulk Nutcracker t-shirt. Little Marvel holiday sweater. Little Stitch Christmas sweater. Holiday hoodie. There's the design. Cute t-shirt. And then kind of like a Island vibe <laughs> button up with this cute design. Spirit jersey. Cable knit sweater spirit jersey. And super cute Santa Mickey ear headband. I'm probably gonna get this. We have this holiday lights light up necklace. Holiday designed turtleneck. And they have this entire Star Wars holiday collection. Oh my gosh, this cardigan is too funny. They have two different sweatshirts still in the Star Wars collection. There's this one. And this one, which is more of like an all-over print. Oh my gosh, these are too hilarious. They have these Christmas Crocs with 3D present gibbets. They also have, it just looks like a general kind of winter fun, Sherpa-lined pair. And then these frozen ones. These are cute and glittery, and they're also got like quite the chunky heel. Almost like platform crocs. They also have holiday themed baking stuff. Their pair of holiday ears and these light up. Also do have some Hanukkah merch. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah short sleeve button down. Cute little Mickey holding a menorah. Got a cute lounge fly and some ears that look like they light up the little candles. So we hopped over to the Marketplace Co-op and there's this super cute tiered serving tray. I believe these are measuring cups. Little pie dish. Thank you, little snowman. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Cookie jar. <laughs> Snowman cookie jar. All right, more holiday merch coming at you. We have fig pins of the reindeer and the toy soldiers from and we're the at pin parade. Traders right now. Yeah, we're at pin traders, by the way. We've already gone through World of Disney. A little damage, not as bad as what I thought. And we went to the Marketplace Co-op and Becky found a Disneyland sweatshirt that she was looking for at Disneyland. Good find. And now for the Christmas store that's here all year round, but maybe they have special Christmas stuff for the season now. This is a lounge fly I haven't seen yet. It's a cute little red and green Christmas plaid. So we got our return time for Gideon's, and now that we're in line, we're looking at the menu. So for December, special limited edition flavors are the Kris Kringle and the Krampus. And there's also a Krampus um, cold brew. But I think I'm going to stick with my tried and true cookies and cream. And I'm going to get the evening exclusive dark coffee cake cookie along with the Krampus cookie. And a cookies and cream cold brew even though it's 10 o'clock at night. 
Because this is our only chance. Get from here to the bus stop. For sure. This time. This time. For the cookies. You got a new pen. That's a neat new pin. Corporate wants you to find the difference between this and that. I see no difference. Alright, so it's 10.30 at night. Gideon's acquired. Iced coffee also acquired. Hopefully it will give us the energy we need to make it to the bus stop to get back to the I resort. Sure so, because I'm struggling. <laughs> when we were waiting in the Gideon's line, even though we had a virtual queue, it's about like a 30 minute wait, 20 minute wait. Yeah. And I was just sitting like the entire time, like inching along until it was our turn to go in. So I am tired. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the resort. So wishful thinking from Becky because we never ended up filming an outro back at the resort. So Gideon's was great. Jack Lindsay's was a surprise hit. And that's going to do it for our night at Disney Springs. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you see all of our future content. And until next time, bye.